And here's Lulu. Hi, Lulu. You want to tell everybody Happy Memorial Day? Okay, well, maybe not Happy Memorial Day, but she would like to say... Uh, she would like to say thank you to everyone who has served and everyone who continues to serve so you can keep people like my family and me safe. By the way, really quick, I have to mention something, and it's it's a little bit annoying. Yesterday, I planned to post a little TikTok um, thanking everyone for their service on Memorial Day. For some reason, it was being put under review. I mean, uh, okay, I was just saying thank you to people. Military service? What the heck does that... Why is that under review? I don't know. Also, I have a project in the works. As you can see, that's some pool noodle. There's a trident over there. Now, my plan is I'm going to cut the pool noodle in half and see if I can make a cosplay prop out of that and the trident. If it doesn't work, I know that I need to probably get craft foam, which is some good stuff. But yeah, we're going to see if I can make um I'm going to try to make Mermista's trident from Shira and the Princesses of Power. We'll see how that goes. Ah, there we go. That's better. So, upcoming soon is 16 top historical Twitter accounts that you should know about, even if you don't have a Twitter account. God, that sounds like BuzzFeed. <laughs> um, but I they're really great Twitter accounts. Um you guys should definitely check them out. It's pretty awesome. Um, and that'll be up sometime this week. Also, I'm going to be doing a, well, I'm going to be doing the Bob Ross challenge. Yeah, I know. I know I'm kind of behind on the trend, but it's been a while, but I really want to try it. Oh, uh, there may not be videos next week. I don't know yet because because uh we'll be out of town. Alyssa is going to Denver to participate in the University of Denver's master's graduation. She's getting her master's. Oh my god. This is her second one. Uh and it's in library science. And I'm really proud of her. Uh but yeah, we're going to be in Denver. And then um yeah, just kind of going to kind of be, you know, here and there. But I am figuring out the schedule. I'm going to make sure that I know what videos and what posts I'm going to do. Man, isn't it great that you can kind of schedule YouTube videos and WordPress stuff? Now, if you can only schedule TikToks, that would be cool. And there is one more thing I would like to mention. Um, I have family who have served in the military uh, and are continuing to serve. My cousin Scott uh, was in the Navy, but now he's in the Air Force. Hi, Scott. Uh, I have one of my friends that I've known here for a long time, Robert, also known as Francis, has served in the Army, and I believe he's still serving. Um, Aunt Pat, as some of you may know, served in the Women's Army Corps. And then... Uh, my grandfather was a Marine, and both of my grandfathers, great-grandfathers, served in the Army. In fact, my, uh, the great, my great-grandfather on my father's side actually uh, worked at White Sands Missile Range, which is just over the, the mountain from us. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. But I do want to bring up something serious, guys. Um, the majority of veterans and military personnel that have come back from combat, many of them suffer, of course, from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And I would say that it isn't really until just recently, you know, um, since I want to say September 11th, 2001, when people began to volunteer for that. However, not only did we realize that people of my generation who were serving and came back had PTSD, 
but people who have served in World War II, uh, Korea, Vietnam, and the first Gulf War, they have it too. And we need, I feel like there's a need to help. So I'm going to post a link down below for if any of you are a veteran who is suffering from PTSD, or if you know a veteran yourself who is suffering, um, I'm going to put some links down below for you to check out. And I'm thinking on July 4th, I may do a donation uh, thing, possibly. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. It may be before before school starts. I don't know. It's, it's going to be there. But remember that the people who kept us safe and continue to keep us safe, they need just as much help as we do. And I think we need to address that more, a lot more. So I'll put up a link for, oh, change my shirt. I'll put up a link for Pete for uh, New Mexico veterans and then as well as US veterans. And here's another thing that I think you can do now that we're not, now that, um, you know, there things are slowing down, so to speak. If you see a veteran, any veteran, be they uh, Korea, Vietnam, uh, World War II, whatever, and be they Army, Navy, Marine, Coast Guard, Air Force, doesn't matter. Go up to them and tell them thank you for your service. Tell them thank you for keeping people like me and my family safe. I at least try to do that when I can. I'll, if I see a veteran, I'll, I'll go up to them and, and tell them thank you very much for their service. <sighs> okay, that's enough serious stuff for the moment. Speaking of that, uh, one thing that I have been really, really kind of doing into right now, Resident Evil Village. Oh my God, it is amazing. I mean, I haven't played it, but I've watched Markiplier, uh, 8 Ryan, Jack Septicai, and the Rad Brad uh, play through it. And wow, I think it's even better than, than 7. And that's saying something because I really like 7. I haven't had a chance to play any of the other games. Um, I, I don't even know if they're available for Xbox. If anyone knows that, let me know. But wow, the, the story, the characters, it, it goes, it's great. They all, <clears throat> excuse me, they always try to seem to like one up themselves. Like they think, okay, we did it in this game. How can we make it a little bit bigger? And they do this. And it's just like, wow. I do want to warn you, there are some intense scenes of violence. So um, if that kind of squicks you out, then I wouldn't play it. But, oh man, the character design has gone up really well too. And there's a, a, a clip at the beginning of the, the game that reminds me so much of the animation in the first half of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. That's one of my favorite parts of the movie. And it reminds me a lot of that. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I definitely recommend that you guys check out the game. As soon as I can get my hands on a copy, I will see about setting up a Twitch of me playing it. And everything like that. Chris already has it, naturally. So maybe I can convince him for us to do like a small playthrough. Chris, if you're watching this, I hope you're okay with that. Uh, thirdly, <clears throat> uh, I just watched the first Resident Evil movie, the, you know, with Mila Jovovich and Michelle Rodriguez and Eric Mabius, and I was just thinking, oh my gosh, it's so different. And yet there are elements that do harken back to to the game, like the Nemesis Project, Raccoon City, which I know is the big part of um, Resident Evil 2, the game. And it's just like, wow. Wow. And dang. Now I know why I think I have a crush on action figure, on action 
action heroes that are women. Mila Jovovich, whew, damn man. And Michelle Rodriguez, wow. And apparently, um, I actually read an interview. She said that she actually played the game. That she's a video game nut. So she was pretty happy about that. Okay, I got to cut this short now because in a little bit, we got to go to Target to go get some stuff. And, but I will see you guys later. Again, have a safe and healthy Memorial Day. And stay tuned for Summer Hullabaloo. Bye.